What's up everyone, Brad here with the Money Dad channel. In this video, I wanna go over a stock Zometica, stock ticker ZOM, because we had a price target on this stock just two days ago. If you go to my channel, you can see, put out a video right here. Here it is, Zometica, best penny stocks to buy now, two days ago. Put that video out only two days ago when the stock was trading at $1.11. I said that that was when I bought into the stock. Based on this chart pattern right here, I thought that this stock was going to go much higher than it was at that time. And two days later, I mean, look at these two candlesticks we put in over the last two days. The very next day after I put that video out, we skyrocketed straight up. And then today, the next day, only two days later, another huge candlestick to close out our trade at $1.91. We bought in at $1.11. And two days later, this stock was trading at $1.91. That's an 80 cent gain on this stock, which is a 72% gain in two days. That was absolutely nuts. We nailed it on this one. I know a lot of subscribers to this channel were also in on this trade. And I'm so happy for you guys that you made a lot of money on this trade. Uh, I made a little bit of money on this trade as well. Uh, I only took half a position on this one because it was a penny stock and I know that penny stocks are very volatile. Uh, so I try to manage my risk a little bit more with penny stocks. Uh, so kind of kicking myself a little bit there, but hey, look, we made 72% in two days. It's hard to uh, be angry at yourself for that, right? So uh, what did I do with my money? I took about half off the table at the $1.91 uh, price target. Oh, and by the way, in that video, I said the price target was $1.91. Actually, let me correct myself. In that video, I think I said the price target was $1.96. And then last night on my live stream, I redrew the pattern and reassessed it to be a dollar ninety-one. And today, what did we close at? Exactly one dollar and ninety-one cents. How crazy is that? I actually took about half my position off the table at a dollar eighty-eight. So I didn't nail it perfectly. But hey, I mean, you can't you can't hit these trades that perfect, right? I'm still very happy with the profits that we made on this trade. I think there's a lot more profits in the future for this company as well. But you know how we do on this channel, we uh, trade stocks, we don't really look at uh, stocks for the long term investments. Uh, that's a whole separate ball ballgame. Um, I am a fan of long term investments, but that's not what I've been doing on this channel. Uh, I talk about my trades, my short term trades. Uh, we get into a position on a company, we hit that trade based on the chart pattern setting up for it. And once we hit our price target, we get out and we move on, we move on to the next chart pattern. So that's what I did here with about half of my position, I took half that position out once we hit that price target so that I have that cash ready to go for the next setup that I find. Uh, which I will post on this channel as I always do. Okay, so if you guys are interested in seeing my trades in as real time as possible, as soon as I possibly get them out there, then hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that you see the video as soon as it posts. Okay, so sometimes I post videos like during uh, the trading day and you know so that as soon as you see that video you can make that trade if you want to now all that said I am NOT a financial advisor so please do your own due diligence on these companies and stocks when you are uh, considering investing in these things after watching my videos um, you know this is just my opinion only I do put my money where my mouth is on a lot of these trades uh, but I'm not a financial advisor so please do your own research as well okay so I'm going to dive into how this trade worked um, so just to show you guys you know the kind of the methodology behind the trade and why it worked uh, so stick around for that because you can use this information to look at your own stock charts and find your own patterns and your own setups, make your own money so that you don't have to rely on other people like me. I do appreciate all of you guys watching my videos, but I'm also trying to educate you guys in the same time so that you can do this stuff yourself. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the chart pattern that set up this whole trade uh, that that showed us, you know, this stock was about to break out and we were about to make a lot of money on it. So what we're looking at right here is a bull pennant. And basically what a bull pennant is, you have this huge run up in price right here. And then the stock just chops sideways for a while. And as it's chopping sideways, it makes this kind of triangle pattern. 
we make this triangle pattern based off a series of lows from the candlesticks and a series of highs from the candlesticks, right? So when you trace these lines out around these candlesticks, you make uh, what looks like a pennant flag. We call this a bull pennant because uh, this is on a bullish chart, right? This stock is going up. There's also the inverse of this, the bear pennant, where it, it's upside down and it suggests that the stock is going to go lower. Well, so when these bull pennants form, um, what it's telling us is this price uh, is consolidating. So there's not a whole lot of buying or selling going on. It's just kind of chopping sideways a little bit, right? A little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit down. It's just kind of going sideways back and forth, right? It's kind of preparing for the next move. That's how I like to think of it. So look at this explosive move right here right before this consolidation period. And this right down here is the volume. That means how many shares were traded on those days. So we have this explosive run up in price right here on explosive volume, right? I mean, look at the volume before what, what happened here. It was next to nothing compared to the volume on this explosive move up. So if it happened in the past, it can happen again, right? We know that it is possible to happen again. So we look at this explosive move right here. We see that this stock is now consolidating, very low volume, right? There's not a whole lot of buyers and sellers out there. It's just kind of trickling sideways because everybody made their trades right here, right? So once everybody makes their trades, there's no one left out there to make those trades, right? All of the buyers have bought in that want to buy. All of the sellers have sold that want to sell. There's nobody left to trade the stock. So that's when you get this consolidation period right here on very little volume, right? There's nobody left to trade the stock. So what happens during this period? Well, the interested buyers are generating more money. They're preparing for their next buy or the stock gets uh, more interest. There's, there's new buyers coming in and finding out about it. And it's, it's just kind of generating more money and more interest during this time because of this huge move right here, right? This catches a lot of people's attention. This is the time that it takes for people to get more money and for more investors to find out about the stock. And then what happens once it gets to the end of the consolidation period, it breaks out because people have more money and there are there's new money basically, right? In the form of new investors and uh, previous investors getting new money. So when that happens, it breaks out as soon as it breaks out above this blue line. This is the resistance line that the top of the bull pennant. As soon as it breaks out, that's your buying opportunity. That's when we say this is to time. This is the time to get into this stock, right? That's when we enter our trade. And that's when I made the video right here. I said, guys, I think this is the time to get in. This looks really good. We're breaking out of this bull pennant. I think we are going much higher. And wouldn't you know it, in two days, we almost doubled our money, 72%. Um, so very, very good uh, two days here. And I knew what price it was going to based off of the size of this run up right here. Basically, you, you measure the low of this bull run. So I called it right there. And then you measure up to the high of the bull run. Um, and it needs to hit these candlesticks as well. This resistance line needs to be able to hit some other resistances, right? The top of these candlesticks. That's why I didn't measure this um, line all the way up to the top of this candlestick. I just measured it up to the closing point of the day that day. Um, you can do it either way, but if you measure this all the way up here, then it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't look as good, right? These candlesticks are not bumping up against the resistance. So you move it down here to the top of the thick part of the candlestick and all of a sudden now your bull pennant starts to look really good. So uh, that's when I had a lot more confidence. Once I found that out, once I moved that, uh, you know, sometimes this is kind of like a, a a game on your eyes. It's not always easy to see these patterns. So you got to kind of look at these charts for a little while and figure out, okay, well, you know what, how do we make this work? Is there a pattern here or not? And sometimes I'll glance over a, a stock chart and not see a pattern when there was one there. I just didn't look closely enough. So in this case, I almost missed this because I had drawn my, lo my line all the way up here. And I was like, eh, that doesn't look right. That looks weird. That's not that that's that these waves are not hitting the resistance it doesn't look good well 
use this part of the candlestick instead of the wick, the top of the wick, and all of a sudden that looks that starts to look very good in there, right? And then I had a little bit more confidence. I said, you know what? That does look like it's hitting the resistance, it's hitting the support, it's consolidating, it's about to break out. Um, so I was very happy to find that. Um, so we had our nice little consolidation. We had our breakout. Uh, this is when I said, this is when I told everybody to buy in and we targeted $1.91 based off of the size of this flagpole, right? We just copy and paste this flagpole and put it wherever the new bull run is going to start. And I assessed that it was going to be right here. Um, and if it doesn't start right there, if it chops around a little bit more, comes out here and then breaks out, then you just move this flagpole to wherever uh, the new bull run starts. So it just happened that this is where it did start. We broke out. So we were able to use this flagpole to target a dollar ninety one, and sure enough, we closed at a dollar ninety one today. Uh, so, what does this mean for ZOM Zometica going forward? Uh, well, I will say that this stock pattern has played out, um, but that doesn't mean that this stock is going to go down from here. It doesn't mean that it's going to go up. It just means that this pattern itself has played out completely, and I don't have an assessment on the stock going forward based on this pattern. Now, I do think that this stock is probably going to continue to go up based on uh, the information that I've been hearing about their new product uh, that's going to be launching in March. Um, that's why I kept half of my position in this company. Uh, we made so much money on this trade over the last two days that I felt okay leaving half of my money in there because I took half of my money out and it was basically free money because we made so much money on this trade in two days. So you leave half your position in there if you make that kind of money and you can leave it in there as an investment, as a long-term investment because this stock could absolutely continue to go higher. Uh, it could start to crash, we don't know. Uh, you put a trailing stop loss on your uh, investment so you know, you can set it to 5%, 10%, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, so if this stock goes down 5% or 10%, it auto sells your position and you get your money back. Uh, so it, that is a great way to kind of mitigate your risk on these penny stocks. If you, if you think there's a potential that this stock is going to go back down to a dollar or even less, I would absolutely put a trailing stop loss on that position. Um, maybe a, a five or 10% um, trailing stop loss, something like that. So if it go, if it does drop down to a dollar, you're going to get stopped out at that 5% or 10% down instead of a dollar. And you don't lose half your money. You only lose that 5% or 10%. Uh, so that is something to strongly consider, especially with penny stocks, uh, especially with these quick trades that we make. Um, because if, if the trade starts to go south, you just get stopped out and you get your money back and it's no big deal. You move on to the next trade. Okay, so I think that's what I got for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you made some money off of this trade, then I am really happy for you. Uh, I've got some links down in the description if you guys want to help me out in any way, uh, if you are up to it. I know I get a lot of questions on where did I learn how to do this stuff. I recommend going down to the uh, Amazon links that I have below and click on the Market Wizards books. Um, I read those years ago and absolutely loved them and that's what started my passion for uh, stock charts and, and, and trading. Um, that's not what started my passion for investing. That started a long time ago in high school. Um, but really starting to get into trading, it started with those Market Wizards books. So go check those out. And if you buy any of those uh, products from those links down there, then I get a small kickback. I do appreciate that. I also have a link to like my PayPal down below if you want to throw me anything, uh, you know, fuel my, my coffee addiction. I would appreciate that as well. <laughs> okay, guys. And uh, last thing, if you are not a subscriber and you have stuck around this long, first of all, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Second of all, hit that subscribe button because there's something that you like in this video right so uh continue watching these videos by hitting that subscribe button all right guys that's what i got for you uh leave a comment down below i read every single comment that i get i try to respond to as many as i can but um i just don't have that kind of time in my day i got a day job and kids and and uh and a lovely wife and three dogs in the house right now and i got a lot going on so um, but I do read every single comment that you guys uh, leave. So I really appreciate you guys so much. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.